Hello, a very good day to you. In this video, we are basically going to show you how to actually verify that your OCSP responder is working, how your basic certificates that you generate within your CA system is, are valid. Okay. We created a couple of videos some time back showing how to use your own CA and generate self-signed certificates, etc. Okay, not buying certificates outside and using them internally within your LAN environment, within your corporate environment. Okay. Let's start off with the very basics. Okay, um, in the description you should see links to our previous two videos where we created our root CA system and then we created certificates and we also then set up a VPN. So, the first thing to do is to look at PKI view. How do you get there? Very simple, PKI view if you spell it right view.msc and that will bring it in and then you'll open up this and then as you can see all we have over here is what we created from before and our certificates are okay if you want you can look at them they're all happy happy those CSP locations working fine everything's good our CA certificate is good, deltas, all good. What you may also want to do is go over here and then type in MMC, run that, and then add in your certificates. Okay, so add. So basically, certificates, add, computer account. Next, finish, okay, you will see that we do have our VPN certificates created, okay, we can choose any one of them, the server authentication one for example, and we'll just right click on that and Altas export, we'll export it yeah, we can export with the private key or without the private key. In this instance, we'll just do without the private key. It's a very simple, straightforward thing. Yeah, as a cert. And very simply, give it any name you want. We'll give it CERT. Nothing special. Save it to the desktop. That's fine. Click Finish. Export was successful. What we will do, and the reason why we send it to the desktop first, and then we're bringing it to the C drive, is just for simplicity, rather than me having to type in a lot in PowerShell. Okay, so let's just go to PowerShell. And all I have to do in this case is backslash, it brings me to the C drive. I can see the cert. Okay, now you are using cert util dash url and then the file name which is cert dot cer. And as you can see, it's a verified certificate. Verified under OCSB. CRLs. Also verified. So, as you can see, a uh, self signed CA system can run happily on Windows Server within your internal LAN, even your external LAN. The only few restrictions that 
well, actually not restrictions, just a little bit of extra steps, is that your root certificate, okay, that you create when you set it up, needs to be installed on the client computers, the computers outside of your internal LAN. Well, even if they're inside your LAN, it still needs to be installed on them. Another issue that needs to be considered is basically that those client computers that are trying to log in to your corporate environment, either you have a public, shall we say, address where DNSs are resolvable, if it's all behind a firewall, all internal, and you have opened up on your firewall a certain route in, what you will need to do is ensure that those client computers, their DNS, is able to actually resolve this server's address. Now, when we set it up, we set it up with all internal addresses, 192.168. So you would need to, either in the host file or something, give a route back to this server. That's the way that certificates are verified and your entire system will work out. It's only an extra couple of steps, however it's quite simple and once you've done this you've actually got an entire CA system running where you can create your own certificates for software, for your web servers, for your VPN, etc, etc, for your users, clients, all that. So, hopefully this video has helped, and thank you for watching.